Nicole Crane. And I'm Brad Hartkoff. We're two members of ABI's public policy team, and we want to say thank you for your membership and thank you for support of ABI. We also want to give you a preview of week 10, which is the week ahead in the Iowa legislature. This week in the Iowa legislature, the, the Iowa House can only debate House bills and bills on the unfinished business calendar. The Senate can only debate Senate files and bills on the unfinished business calendar. So that really helps Brad and I focus on what issues that we should be advocating for on behalf of ABI members. There's been a lot of activity at the Capitol. You've read about it in the ABI legislative news this past week, and we just want to give you a highlight of some other issues that we haven't talked much about, but we think are important to you and your business. So Brad, I know one issue uh, we've been talking a lot about is just liability for employers, and do you want to talk about a couple bills that are out there? Sure, thank you, Nicole. Uh, House file 650, this passed uh, the House this week, and it deals with an employer liability shield, and right now with uh, low unemployment and the theme of criminal justice reform really taking hold in the 2019 legislative session, uh, policymakers are really looking at trying to get people back into the workforce, and one bill, here's this uh, legislation, uh, would prevent a cause of action from being brought against an employer if they no, simply hire somebody because they have a public offense. Uh, it's a way to give uh, those folks who might be overlooked a second chance and give employers the protections they need when they're hiring uh, those kinds of individuals. And uh, another issue that we're looking at uh, is marijuana. It's always a hot topic in the legislature. There are a couple bills, one in the House and the Senate. The Senate bill uh, adds more conditions to the list uh, for debilitating conditions and qualifications for medical cannabidiol. And it also allows uh, physicians assistants and nurse practitioners to have greater discretion when prescribing that. The House bill also has a, a similar sections in it and so we'll be watching that to, uh, from an employer perspective to see if anything gets added to that or how that progresses throughout the session. Thanks Brad and another issue you know this is one that you've read a lot about is House File 636 and Senate File 459. ABI members and ABI's association were concerned about the liability for employers if they're not able to have a policy that prevents employees from bringing firearms into the parking lot of an employer's private property. So we uh, have talked a lot about this in the Business Day on the Hill we uh, have put in the ABI legislative news, but now is the time on these issues that we really need you to contact your legislators to tell them about your concerns with those bills. Uh, Senate File 459 is all about the employer private parking um, parking lot property issue uh, regarding weapons, and then uh, House File 636, the specific section that deals with employers is Section 2 of the bill. So as you're talking to legislators, let them know about your concerns that you have with those pieces of legislation. Um, just a few other issues that we're working on. Again, we're tracking more than 300 bills. That was a count as of two weeks ago. I'm sure with the new bill numbers, we're probably up to 400 at least. Uh, so never, never a dull day at ABI. As we shift from the policy discussion and focus more on taxes and the budget, uh, we'll be looking to see how the session continues to move forward and be watching specific areas of the budget with regards to Empower Rural Iowa, those appropriations for broadband and workforce housing, and also Future Ready Iowa, uh, the Employer Innovation Fund, and the Last Dollar Scholarship. So those are some areas that we're focused on that we think will help improve the business climate here in Iowa. And uh, we're looking forward to advocating for ABI members. And uh, we appreciate your time and uh, hope you have a great week. Thanks so much.